Very few Sony productions have had as much hype in the last two years as Venom Let There Be Carnage. Based on the title, which sounds very appealing to Splatter fans, everyone assumed that the film would not be approved for younger audiences. Much to the frustration of many fans, the Motion Picture Association of America, or MPAA for short, announced that the movie would in fact be given a 13 plus age rating. Thus, there can be no talk of brute force or rampaging carnage in the upcoming film. On the other hand, this is hardly surprising since Sony has been relatively consistent with its H rating so far. The predecessor received the same rating. So, anyone hoping that Venom Let There Be Carnage would follow in the footsteps of the Joker as the most successful R-rated film of all time was in for, well, big disappointment. DC's competitors didn't have much success with similar movies either. See The Suicide Squad or Birds of Prey. Venom Let There Be Carnage will be released in used theaters on October 15th, 2021. Disney's Jungle Cruise is currently playing in theaters, and with nearly 190 million in box office earnings, it's not doing too badly, considering it's released during the pandemic. The crux of the matter, however, is that the film cost a whopping 200 million US dollars to produce, which is rather a lot of money. Nevertheless, Disney decided to make a second part, with well, the reason is clear. At the present time, 190 million US dollars in revenue is really not bad, and on top of that, with Jungle Cruise, they have finally managed to land another success in the domain of live action adventures. The company will be particularly distressed at the thought of the large-scale National Treasure franchise with Nicolas Cage, given that all in all, it was a disaster. Of course, the success of Jungle Cruise is largely due to the excellent performance of Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt, which is why it comes as no surprise that both of them will be back for the second part. Nor will there be a change when it comes to directing, as jean claude Serra will once again be in charge. It has not been said yet when exactly we will be able to see Frank Wolf and his companion Duck Dolly Hooten again on the big screen, but we will keep you updated. October 16th, 2021 is the day. The DC Fandom will be held again. The now second edition of the event, which was established as a counterpart to San Diego Comic-Con due to last year's pandemic, promises some new footage this year as well. The most exciting thing is probably the announcement of a new The Batman trailer, which will be the second of its kind to be shown at the convention. About time too, since the DC blockbuster will be released in March of next year. In addition, we can look forward to exclusive insights into other A-list films from Warner Brothers. Besides The Batman, there will be new footage of The Flash, Black Adam, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, as well as Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Plus, there will reportedly be a farewell tribute to the series of Supergirl, as it will not be continued after six seasons now. For the series that started in 2019 called Batwoman, there will also be new insights just like for the Flash series. The second DC fandom will take place on October 16th, 2021, so if you are looking for specific topics, you definitely shouldn't miss the live stream. Jon Favreau's animated film The Lion King was a huge success in 2019. Now it is supposed to continue with a prequel to Disney's remake. As we learned a few days ago, there are already first cast members to talk about. According to the US magazine Deadline, Aaron Pierre will dub Mufasa while Calvin Harrison Jr. will provide the voice for his hostile brother Scar. The aforementioned Jon Favreau will no longer be involved in the project, however, since Moonlight director Barry Jenkins has been signed on for the prequel. Together with Jeff Nathanson, who also wrote the screenplay for the 2019 film, they soon want to deliver a worthy prequel to the hit movie. After all, it's the seventh most successful movie of all time with box office takings of 1.6 billion US dollars. What exactly the story will be about is still unclear at this point. The only thing that is certain is that the breathtaking animation technology of the original will be used again. Unfortunately, the release date of the Lion King prequel is not yet known. The Resident Evil video game series has been thrilling horror fans around the globe for over 25 years. There's also a film series starring Mila Jovovich, although it tends to be avoided by hardcore fans due to its high action and lower horror content. However, the upcoming reboot Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City is meant to address precisely this target group, as the remake deliberately goes in a considerably creepier direction. This is already proven by the first images, which show three exclusive scenes from the film. Among others, you can see Caio Scodelario as Claire Redfield, Tom Hopper as Albert Wesker, Nathan Dales as Brett Vickers, Hannah John Kamen as Jill Valentine, Marina Mazipa as Lisa Trevor, and last but not least, Robbie Amell as Chris Redfield. The hub of the events will of course be the infamous Spencer Mansion, which already terrified fans back in the first video game. 
Particularly the appearance of Lisa Trevor caused a stir within the fan community. After all, the girl who is only 14 years old is the terrifying result of a failed umbrella experiment. Her presence is also a good sign for it means that the setting of the original is being adhered to. The reboot Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City will be released in theaters on November 24, 2021. Fans of Top Gun Maverick and Mission Impossible 7 need to stand strong, because Paramount has once again decided to postpone the two movies starring Tom Cruise. Much to the annoyance of many fans of the 59-year-old, this is not only a matter of a few weeks, but several months in fact. Paramount is pursuing a special strategy as it recently announced that it would not be releasing any more films in 2021. For Top Gun Maverick, the Memorial Day weekend has been set as the target release in the US, which starts on May 28, 2022. Two. That would originally have been the date for Mission Impossible 7, which is why it is also being delayed by several months. In order to have enough time between the two Tom Cruise movies, Mission Impossible 7 will now be pushed to September 30th, 2022, thus making it more than a year away. Do you sympathize with Paramount's decision or would you prefer the company to follow the example of its competitors and release the movie sooner? Feel free to let us know your opinion in the comments. In recent weeks, the Gossip Factory has been working overtime on The Expendables 4. After seven years since the last part, it's now clear that there will be no spin-offs for individual characters as, for example, Jason Statham's Lee Christmas, but a proper fourth part. This is also being confirmed by The Hollywood Reporter, which has already published the first cast members of Part 4. Thus, returning to the movie are Sylvester Stallone as Barney Ross, Jason Statham as Lee Christmas, Dolph Lundgren as Gunnar Jensen, and Randy Couture as Road. So far, so good, but much more exciting are the new additions, who are no strangers to the entertainment business. On the one hand, there is former Transformers star Megan Fox, US rap legend Curtis Jackson aka 50 Cent, and martial artist Tony Yaa. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Jason Statham's character Lee Christmas will not receive a spin-off, but he's expected to be given a much stronger focus. On the female cast side, Megan Fox will take the lead role. The exact release date for The Expandables 4 is still unclear, but we do not not expected to be released before the end of 2022, given that filming starts in October. In the meantime, if you want to hear or see more about the MCU instead, we highly recommend our latest original regarding all the most recent news on Black Panther Wakanda Forever. If you're more into the old franchises, though, don't miss the most recent and final trailer for the upcoming James Bond No Time to Die on our channel.